Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I feel like I need to do like the walk of shame or something. This feels so weird. I haven't filmed in months. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's been way too freaking long. I've been filming short form content, honestly. Filming YouTube videos takes so much time and so much effort, not to mention all the editing that goes into it. So I'm so sorry, but you guys were not letting it go. Y'all were like, girl, where are you? All the comments on TikTok and Instagram, the DMs constantly. And then on my most recent post that I posted, someone literally left a comment and girl when are you coming back to YouTube that's the question so here I am I'm not gonna get into detail and give you guys a whole story time maybe we'll do a little Q&A and I can answer where I've been what I've been doing what's new that would be pretty cool but for today we're just jumping straight back into filming and I have a Sephora haul what other video would I be coming back with than with me spending my money on more makeup that I don't need but I got anyways and it's a tiny bag okay this tiny bag was like almost $500 with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and jump into today's video. Before we do, you guys already know the drill. Make sure that you give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. If this is the first time you're coming across my channel, welcome. Down below, don't forget to leave a comment. Let's chit chat. I've missed you guys so much. And without further ado, let's get into this bag. All right, you guys, there's so much stuff in here. I don't even know where to start or like where it makes sense to start. So I'm gonna just grab what's at the top and we're gonna go from there. So the first thing that I got is the Drunk Elephant. This is their B Goldie Bright Drop. So here's what they look like right here. It kind of looks overexposed. I'm not sure why, but it is what it is. So I have the bronzing drops and this is like an illuminating version of those. I'm gonna put a little on the back of my hand because listen, I'm not trying to be wasteful, okay? But let me see if you guys can see the glow. So I'm planning to use this in conjunction with my moisturizer or even if you have like a sunscreen that you want to add a little bit of glow to. Can you guys see the glow? It's very, very subtle. It also has no scent. So if you guys are like sensitive to smells, this doesn't have any scent. I haven't seen a lot of people talk about this either, so I'm excited to give it a try. You guys, I'm looking at my, my little monitor and this like the hair and the shirt is giving like Britney Spears. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm like I knew I looked familiar for a second <laughs> so I got the new Patrick Ta blush this is his double take cream and powder blush in the shade she's giving I pretty much have every single shade he's launched so far I was debating to get this one but y'all know I'm a blush girly okay I love my blush I feel like there's no look without blush okay which is why mine is like on overload today but it's so cute I don't even care okay so here's what it looks like it's so pretty it's like a really beautiful bright pink can you guys see oh my goodness it's so pretty and so vibrant like how somebody explain to me this is like the prettiest color I've ever seen it's so beautiful and it's just as vibrant as it looks it's a very like cool tone pink blush it's absolutely gorgeous like I just can't get over it it's so pretty I got two of the most viral concealers at the moment the Tower 28, this is called the Serum Concealer. And then the Makeup by Mario, this is his Surreal Skin Awakening Concealer. These have been all over my For You page on TikTok, all over my Instagram. All of my friends have tried it at this point. I'm like real late to the party, but it's fine. I'm very, very excited to try both. Specifically very excited to try the Tower 28 because my girl Danielle raved about it. She absolutely loves it and she's like the queen of concealer. But the Makeup by Mario has had mixed reviews. Some people love it, some people hate it. I got mine in the shade 200. So I don't know, it was really difficult to find a shade as well, you guys. I don't know what was going on, but a lot of the colors were really warm. Like very, very warm. So I hope that this color matches. If not, you guys know I'm like the queen of returning. I have no shame in my game and I will exchange it or return it depending on if I like the formula and then the tower 28 so this actually says that it's a weightless serum concealer that has the power to visibly cover dark circles hyperpigmentation and redness here for all of it cover all the dark circles your girl is not getting much sleep these days so I need like Concealer is really my best friend right now. I'm not gonna lie. Sorry you guys. I had to move up a little bit I feel like I was so far from the camera, but this is what the tower 28 concealer looks like if it'll focus. Here we go That's what it looks like. I really like the packaging. Is my camera like overexposed? Is that too bright? <laughs> wow, I haven't done this in a long time. Can you tell? I don't know you guys we're gonna leave it brighter I feel like brighter is better. Hopefully it's not overexposed. And I don't look like a ghost, but it's fine So I got the tower 28 concealer and I got it in the shade 7.0 
really really excited for that some of this stuff i'm gonna do like short form content with so if you guys want reviews make sure that you follow me on instagram tiktok and youtube i'll bring like a full youtube video trying out a few things but obviously just common sense i'm not going to use two different concealers in a video i'd rather just test one so if i test the tower 28 on my channel i'm gonna test the makeup by mario on instagram so make sure that you guys are following me everywhere so you don't miss out okay okay next thing that i got I actually have one of these in my like little weekend travel bag these are holy grail okay if you have not tried these sol de janeiro sprays the body sprays you are missing out okay they smell so good you don't even have to wear perfume if you don't want to those can be your perfume technically body sprays but they're very very potent and so they last all freaking day they're so good anyways all that's to say that they came out with a new scent you know i had to get my hands on it i got two so i have one brand new one right here and then still a brand new one because i've used it like a few times in my bag so this is their after hours fragrance it has midnight jasmine and amber woods you guys this freaking spray delicious okay one thing about me i'm going to smell good at all times it's non-negotiable like i just hygiene is important this smells delicious it is so good i want to open it to smell it so i can kind of like describe the smell but like is brand new okay so we're not gonna do that but i'm telling you it's just so good actually you know what whatever it's not like i'm not gonna use it let me just if i chip my gel polish I'm trying to open this oh my god <laughs> did you guys miss me mm. <laughs> do you know what it reminds me of let me smell it some more <laughs> gives me like YSL black opium vibes if you guys have ever tried that perfume it's very very popular it's like a cult favorite I'll put a picture up right here so you guys can see what the bottle looks like that used to be one of my all-time favorite fragrances it's very warm and sexy it's more of like a nighttime fragrance this smells very similar I wouldn't say it's a complete dupe but it definitely gives you that sexy sultry nighttime vibe um, clearly the name is after hours such a good fragrance if you can get your hands on it get it okay girl I got two so I'm stopped. I think I'm good. I finally got my hands on the Hourglass Veil Hydrating Skin Tint. Really excited for this. Everyone has been saying nothing but good things. And this was expensive. So I have high, high hopes. Maybe I can do a video showing you guys how this works. Packaging is always 10 out of 10 top tier. I mean, it is Hourglass. So I expect nothing less. Especially for the price. Okay, it better give bougie. It better give that this was like $45 or $50 something dollars. Um, for a damn skin tint that's not even gonna give me that much coverage not like I need that much coverage moving on I did pick up another skin tint this one is from Fenty Beauty a little skeptical okay love my girl Riri but I've seen some mixed reviews again like the makeup by Mario some people love it some people hate it and I got the shade 11 this is her ease drop blur and smooth tint stick but apparently this has a lot of coverage and I love the packaging the packaging is so freaking nice like Rihanna just she kills it with this brand every single time here's what the packaging looks like it'd be nice if my camera would focus a little faster but this is what it looks like I got the shade 11 I don't know if it's gonna match I hope it does it looks really dark now that I'm home but like in the store when I was swatching it looked they looked really light so I don't know here's the color oh no that's gonna match perfectly you know what it is I have so much color right now you guys I'm like that looks a little dark and then I put it on my skin and I'm like oh snap where'd I get all this color from the sun okay the florida sun is no joke okay this was not planned this was not on my list of things to buy but i was online and you guys know the little beauty section with the travel stuff that you're literally standing in between the two shelves while waiting online obviously you're not going to stare at people so i'm like staring at the little products it gets me every time this is the brand new tower 28 daily barrier recovery cream now i have their rescue spray and i love it anytime i have a breakout anytime i feel like i'm about to get a breakout and it's not fully there yet but you can feel it right under your skin that is my go-to it's so freaking good if you haven't tried it you need to try it i'll put a picture here because i don't have it in front of me this is the new moisturizer i'm really excited to try it did i need another moisturizer no but it says it's gonna hydrate soothe and help recover your skin i'm really excited it says a safety net for your skin this super hydrating gentle moisturizer helps reset skin back to its baseline with four types of hyaluronic acid and ceramides sign me the f up okay love that need that you guys know i love hydrated skin and then we just have four more things and i'm done 
You see what I'm saying? I'm like almost $500 for what? I literally have like maybe 11 products. It's so crazy. Anyways, <laughs> is the last four things. More freaking blush. Give Beauty came out with some blushes. If you guys are not familiar, Give Beauty is Gwen Stefani's brand. So far, so good. I've liked everything that I've tried, but the blushes look so pretty. I feel like I've been deceived a little because I don't know why in my little brain I thought that this was a duo that came with a powder and a cream, but no, this actually comes with two powders. It's just one is a satin finish and one is a matte finish I believe but it is really pretty but did I need four colors in that case probably not so I don't think I'm gonna keep all of these but I'll show you guys the colors anyway so this one is the shade lasting love it's very pretty it's a very neutral pinky peachy blush this color right here is called flirty talk this one is the color stars align this one's definitely more of like an everyday neutral blush it's really cute and then the last one is the really nice bright pink. This one is called Ex-Girlfriend. And this is like super pink. I'm pretty sure that this is the color that Gwen was wearing in the campaign photos for these blushes. So beautiful. Cannot wait to use them. And that's it, y'all. So that's everything that I picked up this time around at Sephora. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've missed you. This is probably a short video. I'm not sure, actually, now that we're at the end of the video, I probably should have said this at the beginning. I'm not sure if I'm inserting this into like a shop with me because I did record some footage of me actually going to Sephora and shopping a little. I don't want this video to be too long, but I don't want it to be too short. Mm, so I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, but if you guys saw the shop with me portion, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Obviously, that was filmed on a completely different day. And shout out to my girl Amira for coming with me and spending some time with me. We had a little girls day and went to Sephora. She actually works at Sephora. So yeah, I, I dragged my girl to her job basically on her day off, but she's such a trooper. She's amazing. So yeah, if you guys seen the shop with me portion, I hope you enjoyed this is everything that I ended up picking up down below don't forget say hello but also let me know if you guys want to see any of these products specifically in a YouTube video so that way I know what I can use for more short form content over on Instagram and then what I should use here on YouTube as always thank you guys so much for watching if you have any video recommendations as well that you guys want to see leave it down below I'm already coming at you with the favorites video I know it's been a while and I have so many amazing products that I've come across and have been trying and have switched out other products in my routine that I think you guys need to know about because you know I only put you on to the best of the best always so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys